So this was an annoying problem. I just grabbed two AR-770s S's off of eBay, apparently from the Federal Aviation Administration in the United States here. Um, the top one was default password, manager friend, somebody had already wiped it. The bottom one still had a config. I was like, oh man, this will be easy to reset. I've reset it all I tell us the switches before. I just uh, like this guy right down here. You know, just go to pre-boot, there's a little menu or something, you know, control B, whatever, and uh, wipe, wipe, you know, reset defaults or reset the password. Well, this guy uh, doesn't have any of that. The documentation is, is scant and out there, but somebody on a random form mentioned you just hit S a whole bunch. So, boot the switch, sit there and tap S furiously, and then I'll show you how to fix that from console. So, we have furiously hammered away at the S key, and you see now we have a a uh, console, so I can do um, show file, and we can see, look at all those files, right? Uh, so anyhow, you see here, uh, file names, so the config files are what this is going to run when it boots, and obviously there's a router config that was like 2019, and a boot config. I'm just going to be lazy, I'll just do edit boot.cfg, and it takes us in this terrible editor. This is... It's my life, guys. There we go. All right, and then, uh, yeah, whatever whatever that was, we're just going to nuke it. We're just going to nuke that whole thing. In fact, I'll just comment the line out. I think I could just insert some. Let's just do this. There we go. You no longer exist. With no users configured, I'm assuming it's intelligent enough to mean to figure out that that has an issue. So let's see, control K, control H, I think shows me help. Is that right? Control K, H, yep. Okay, what the hell is save and get out of this? All right, switch is off. Turn the switch back on. I'm not gonna push S a whole bunch this time. And you're gonna get the little silly government warning that was left on this thing because somebody left the uh, boot.txt file, but Damn it! What did I do wrong? Hold on. Let's go back up here. What boot? What file are you loading? Router.config. All right, we're gonna do it again. All right, so you guys are gonna see me do it this time. Power off. Power on. Black S. A whole bunch. S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S Oh, and you think it didn't work, don't you? Check this out, bro. Ready? Oh, manager friend. There we go. So default password manager friend worked because I whacked S furiously. Um, let's, uh, let's edit. Router. CFG. All right, there's that one. There's that one. I tried to do this one hand, so I apologize. Okay, and then uh, was it Control K, Control X? All right, rebooting the switch. Get the stupid government warning, but hopefully we'll have the classic manager friend login. Yep. All right, M A N A G E R, enter. F R I E N D, enter. Ha ha! Anyhow, we're in now. So uh, that was that was resetting the password. It was long, it was rambling, but basically all you have to do is, and you saw where I looked on the command line to see when the switch was booting, it showed me what config file it was. Or maybe you didn't see me. So I guess boot your switch you bought on eBay and then look right here. See what it's, see what configuration script it's running when it boots. And then whack S furiously. Once you get to the prompt, log in with manager friend. And once you're in, edit using and just comment out the lines that applied to users and then reboot by the way if you're a cisco fanboy uh you, you should really take a look at this uh, cisco is in my mind uh just another company right you know you, using pro curve and other brands I, i've really fallen in love with a lot of what we'd call a non-cisco vendors right uh allied telesis is still my favorite uh design in japan uh design in new zealand uh, great switches, um, great routers, really not bad pieces of kit. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're 
you know, crazy Cisco Enterprise gear, but you're not buying that, are you? In general, you're not buying that, right? This is a this is a 24 port PoE Plus switch, and I got this on eBay for 50 bucks, gigabit, gigabit PoE Plus, 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, cool stuff. If you, if you haven't used a lie, tell us before you use it. That's my shameless plug. Uh, this entire rambling video is how you reset an AR770S from Allied Telesis.